This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurges.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire V5-571P touchscreen laptop, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen assembly, the touchscreen assembly on a V5-571P touchscreen laptop. Um, before we get started, a couple of words. Uh, there's many versions of the Acer V5 laptop, so you have to pay attention to the numbers after V5. This procedure is for the V5-571P. Now, as for uh, the touchscreen laptops, the touchscreen digitizer, the touch part of the laptop, and the LCD display itself, they're uh, separate parts. But uh, for this particular model, the replacement parts comes as a digitizer screen assembly so that it's easier to replace and you can easily do it at home. And this is what we're going to do in this video. We're going to replace the digitizer LCD screen assembly. And finally, before we start, we want to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. And the way you do that, you flip the laptop over. There's a lever that you slide where my finger is. Slide it to the left and take the battery out. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number. It says V5-571P. That's what you're looking for. Okay, we flip the laptop back over. And now we're going to go over the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 0 is the screwdriver size. We have a pair of metal tweezers just to remove screws that may be stuck, manipulate cables, and lift up adhesive tape and also as a prying tool. And also we have a hobby knife or an X-Acto knife with a pointed edge. And that's to uh, pry the screen assembly open and also to lift up adhesive tape. So the first step we're going to do is to separate the screen LCD digitizer assembly from the back of the screen assembly. And to do this, we're going to pry it open. And the way we're going to do this is we find the seam between the front and the back of the screen assembly insert our hobby knife in and gently start prying it open until we hear snapping sounds. So this might take some time and you go around and then we finally get it. So go like this, go all the way around and start on the top also. Take your time on this. If you if you don't find a good spot right away, it'll eventually start to pop open. And those snapping sounds that you hear, that's the screen assembly snapping open. And we go around the other side. At this point, you might want to tilt the screen assembly back a little bit so when we pry enough open we don't want it to fall back or to fall forward and damage the screen assembly. So keep going in this manner and when you remove, when you pry open on the top, all the way on the top, there's a stubborn corner that we still haven't gotten. There. And then when you pry on the top, we have to do the same thing on the bottom. There's a seam on the bottom of the laptop. So stand the laptop on its side and pry open the bottom. until it starts to give and there's oops and that's exactly what I was afraid of happening 
But let's pretend that didn't happen. Pretend we're at this stage. So um, what the mistake that I made here is I wasn't holding on top when the final, the whole thing finally gave and fell down. So hold uh, while we're at the last few steps. Hold it on top so the same thing doesn't happen to you. Okay, so we stand the laptop back up, and it looks like everything's still okay. We didn't kill the laptop, which is a good thing. And what you want to do is, for some reason, it's stuck. Okay, let's try again. So what you want to do is gently tilt the screen assembly forward and lay it down. Okay, when we look at the screen assembly, the webcam tilted out of its came out of its came out of its plastic clips on top when we dropped the screen assembly. So the webcam is supposed to look like this. So let's move on. Since this is a LCD digitizer combination assembly, there's a few more connections we have to worry about than with this just replacing the screen. We have to disconnect the LCD connector. We also have to disconnect the digitizer connectors. And also there's a circuit board that powers the digitizer that we have to remove because the new replacement screen assembly, screen digitizer assembly, will not have this circuit board. And finally, uh, we have to remove this microphone on the bottom also because we have to put it in the new screen assembly. So let's get started. First we have to snap up the webcam assembly. It snaps down. We snap it up and gently lift up the adhesive cable that it's secured with. Okay, next step is we want to remove this microphone from its seat in the screen assembly. We gently pull out the microphone and there's some adhesive. We lift up the adhesive and finally we go to the two connectors. One connector is from the video cable to the circuit board that powers the digitizer and one connector is for the LCD screen. So let's start with removing these two connectors here. These two connectors here go from the digitizer itself to the circuit board. And to do this, we lift up this square piece of ribbon cable. It's attached with adhesive to the screen itself. And then what we want to do is lift up this plastic bar. I'll go in for a close-up. You can see that it popped open, so we pop it open. And we're going to pop on, pop open the second one. Once we do that, we can gently use our X-Acto knife to lift up these two connectors. And once we do that, what we want to do is remove this circuit board. We use the bottom of our X-Acto knife to gently lift up the circuit board with the adhesive tape, making sure not to damage it until it's completely off. And finally, the last step is removing the LCD connector, the connector to the screen. So we lift up the adhesive tape peel it back and then just grabbing the connector from the back we gently slide it out like so. It slides in and out. So to kind of slide it back in you push it back in like just like I did and as you can see pause the video right here you can see the two sides of the connection are flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So we pull it out one more time, and once we do that, and removing the circuit board, we remove the entire screen assembly. Now, um, for this particular laptop, the screen assembly has been replaced before from a cracked one. But um, this is, when you order this replacement screen assembly, 
this is the exact same screen assembly that you will get. This is all the parts that you will get. So you will need to reconnect the circuit board here, put the microphone here, and mount the webcam here. Okay, so I'll pause at this moment. This is what you get from us from Screen Surgeons for this replacement part. You also get this exact same toolkit here, and the toolkit comes for free with the screen assembly. Uh, to order this part from us from Screen Surgeons, uh, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out where you type in V5-571P and your email address and then that will guide you to buy the right screen assembly online. Okay, so once you buy this screen assembly, it will look exactly like this. It will, um, it will arrive and then I'm going to show you briefly how to reconnect it. So basically, you follow the reverse procedure of what I did before. So you slide in the video cable and tape it. And then put, lay down the two connectors and then put, put the circuit board right where the two connectors are, where the two cables are joining the connector. So it's, it's flush with the black strip here. So it's right above the black strip and put the adhesive tape down and then gently reconnect. So let's get a good close up. Push. Okay, there we go. We'll get a good focus. Push the cable in and put the plastic bar down. So let's try again. We can try using our tweezers. Okay, so what I did is I think I didn't put it close enough. So we're gonna put the we're gonna put the circuit board a little bit closer to the connectors and try again. Okay, so this time it went in. So we mount the cable inside the connector and close down the bar. And again, mount the cable inside the connector and close down the bar. So hope we got a good focus for that. And again, put the adhesive tape down. Okay, so, and after that, there's this square ribbon cable we put this down too, so it has adhesive on the back of the screen. Uh, when you get this new screen, there will be a white piece of paper that covers up the adhesive. You need to remove the piece of paper before you put it down. Okay, so next step is to connect this microphone. Make sure the, the wire is on the top, so that the microphone is on the bottom. And there's a place here to mount the connector. So we mount the connector inside this slot, like so. And then there's a rubber pad or foam pad. We put this down. And okay, now we have secured the connector. And finally, the last step is to secure the webcam. To do this, uh, you place the webcam in the plastic holder and make sure that this cable is not twisted. So it's supposed to, it's supposed to look like this. So mount, put the webcam back into the plastic holders like so, so it snaps in. And reattach the webcam cable to the back of the screen assembly. Okay, so we reconnected everything as we did before. And next, all we have to do, holding the webcam with your fingers, is put the screen assembly back in and snap it to all the places again. And now we have 
laptop with a repaired screen assembly. Okay, yeah, good. just go around a couple of times, make sure it's properly snapped in, and then uh, that should be it, and you put the battery in and you can test the laptop. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.